This is my calisthenics leg day. Thank you for joining me. This is the first exercise we're going to be doing. It is called the single leg glute bridge. Hoping to build strength in our glutes, lower back, and core while improving our hip mobility and stabilizing our spine. We're going to follow up this movement with body weight squats, squatting as low and as safely as we can, making sure to pause at the bottom of the rep for one to two seconds for that greater muscle activation. Being able to squat with your butt to the ground is no joke. You need a great deal of hip mobility and ankle mobility to perform this movement successfully. For our last warm-up exercise, we're going to do lunge jumps, sticking one leg back and then driving it up into the sky as we jump off with the opposite leg. You will be surprised the amount of explosiveness you build from this movement and how difficult it can be no matter your fitness level. Moving on to isometrics, the horse stance is something that's going to train strength, stability, and flexibility all at the same time. Your glutes will be firing off hard to prevent your hips from flexing even further and having you sit down into your ankles. If you do this regularly, you will relieve aches and pains that came from your previous poor posture. I love to pair that movement with the archer squat, which increases your flexibility in your legs by stretching your inner thighs, groin, hamstrings, calves, and even the muscles on your ankles. Another great thing about the archer squat is that if you have any imbalances in your leg muscles, this is a great exercise to fix that. And if you're struggling with your pistol squat, this is a great regression exercise for that skill. Now it's time to lunge, but we're going to do it in the reverse manner. This way it's going to activate your core, glutes, and hamstrings putting less stress on your joints and give you a bit more stability in that front leg. If you're someone that suffers from knee pain, difficulty balancing, or you have less mobility in general, this is probably the best exercise for you. Next, we're going to be looking for some unilateral execution here with these split calf raises. Not only does doing calf raises with a single leg make the exercise harder, it greatly stabilizes the muscles that support the ankle. Another great thing about unilateral exercises is that they always greatly improve your mind-to-muscle connection. And since we're already in that position, let's go ahead and bang out some Bulgarian split squats. And yes, I'm sure you've heard from other programs, this one is brutal. But just like with this entire workout plan, the benefits outweigh the discomfort. Fully extend that leg pointing your toes and make a pistol in what we call the pistol squat. The pistol squat is so difficult because it requires a great deal of strength, flexibility, and balance. It strengthens practically every muscle in your leg, and if you're unable to do one, congrats, you're in great company. Now that we're reaching the end of our workout program here, we're going to start some core work, starting with compact leg lifts. This is a great exercise if you want to learn the L-sit and you lack hip mobility and core compression. The further you lean back, the easier it is. And I'm sure you'll be surprised about the full body exercise known as the single leg plank. It works your obliques, glutes, lower back, shoulders, triceps, abs, even your outer thighs. Also look out for improvements in your posture. Ending this leg day workout with hollow body holds. You know how important the hollow posture is in calisthenics. We're going to make sure our legs and shoulders are off the ground while we keep our lower back pressed into the ground. Strict form only.